Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of all Ingalls shipbuilders, welcome to the christening of the 6th United States Coast Guard Cutter Monroe. The National Security Cutter is the most technologically advanced ship in the Coast Guard fleet, designed and built to handle maritime homeland security, law enforcement, marine safety, environmental protection, and certainly national security missions. And it is certainly fitting that this particular ship is named after a Coast Guard legend himself. Signalman First Class Douglas Monroe is the only United States Coast Guard man to receive the Medal of Honor. He sacrificed his life to save hundreds of U.S. Marines fighting in Guadalcanal during World War II. You know, a legend indeed. Monroe is the sixth ship we're building in the class. And with her, we're proving once again, American workers, Ingo shipbuilders can take on some of the most challenging manufacturing projects in the world. Our Ingalls and Coast Guard team continue to get stronger and prove that sailor production, stable requirements have a direct impact on improved quality, cost, and schedule. And this program has an excellent one. In closing, I would like to thank you once again for joining us for this historic event. May God bless the officers and crew who will serve on this great ship and serve to defend our nation. And may God bless America. Thank you. As the Coast Guard Acquisition Directorate's on-site National Security Cutter Program Manager's Office, it's an absolute honor to be able to share in today's significant christening of NSC-6, our newest National Security Cutter of the Legend class. The Ingalls Coast Guard team continues to, con to get stronger, directly improving successive deliveries and programmatic improvements in performance, cost, and schedule indices. The entire Coast Guard team is greatly appreciative for the hard work and dedication of the men and women of Ingalls Shipbuilding. Thank you for your consistent improvement on NSC-6, Coast Guard Cutter Monroe, building from lessons learned on each previous NSC. In closing, thank everyone here today, every one of our highly competent shipbuilders and all those who support the the world's premier seagoing maritime organization, the men and women of the United States Coast Guard. Yours in service, duty, and commitment. Semper Paratus. But I couldn't help but when I drove on to the installation today and I saw the banner, what you do today matters. And nothing could be more true than what you do today at Huntington Ingalls matters because 45 years from now, if not longer, this ship will continue to serve our nation. And our nation owes it to our all-volunteer service to serve on platforms like you see here, as you see the other platforms being built at this world-class facility. And when you have on-time, on-budget deliveries like we have here in Huntington Ingalls, this is a recipe for success. And again, I join Brian in paying tribute to the dedicated ship workers because what you do today matters. It matters so much that I have tremendous support back in Washington, D.C. to continue to build out this class of ships, to continue to build out our fast response cutters, to build out our offshore patrol cutters, and yes, now even the word icebreakers are entering into our fiscal world as well, which is why President Obama, back in September, said the United States Coast Guard must have heavy icebreakers with an S. And the fact that we are building these world-class platforms built in Pascagoula, built in the United States to serve our nation, serve our people, I could not be more proud of the work that you you do today truly does matter. And I could not be more proud than to christen this wonderful ship. God bless Huntington Ingalls. God bless our United States. And God bless our United States Coast Guard and all the men and women who serve in it. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me to be the sponsor of the National Security Cutter, Monroe. I am the great niece of Doug Monroe. I didn't know Doug. He died many years before I was born. But I was very close to his mother, Edith. She was almost the age I am now when she lost her son. She experienced unimaginable grief and decided the best way to process it was to join the Coast Guard herself. She became a SPAR and helped institute much needed change for women joining the military in World War II. 
She became a surrogate mother of sorts to these women and carried on the spirit of her son's service to this country. My other connection to the Coast Guard is with my dad, Doug Sheehan. Dad, my dad was named after his uncle and joined the Coast Guard during the era of the Vietnam War. My dad has worked tirelessly these past few years to ensure that Doug Monroe's spirit and legacy lives on for the people in the Coast Guard and for civilians interested in learning about him. To the men and women who built the Monroe, I want to say thank you. This ship is the result of your hard work, dedication, and skill. It is a significant period that was spent creating a vessel that will ultimately save lives. My dad told me a great quote from Admiral Papp, which I think perfectly captures the spirit of people who serve in the Coast Guard. He said, when people ask you about the Coast Guard, don't tell them what we do. Tell them the story of Doug Monroe and Ray Evans, because that's who we are, and who we are is much more important than what we do. Thank you again for giving me the great honor of being the Monroe sponsor. Please welcome the flower girl for Monroe, Lacey Betts. In the name of the United States of America, I christen thee Monroe. May God bless this ship and all who sail in her.